Yo, what is up, YouTube? James back here, and welcome back to another episode of the Ultra Test. Today, we're going to be using a brand new team, and today's concept is going to be using Zygarde. So, Zygarde is an interesting Pokemon. It hasn't really changed from Sun and Moon. Of course, there's been a lot more offensive presence in po Pokemon that can threaten Zygarde. Strong, powerful attackers like Ultra Krasma, Ice Beam on Primal Kyogre, which has been pretty common, and of course, Primal Ground is very dominant and Hayes Feeney has been running around quite a bit so not exactly sure of how good Zygarde is I'm not a personal big fan of it from what I've played so far but because either I never bring it or it just doesn't really help too much uh we'll see how it goes though my friend passed me this team we're going to be using a standard coil Misty Seed Zygarde with power construct we got Mega Metagross which I'm not sure if I want to run Bullet Punch or Ice Punch hmm I think I'm going to run Ice Punch. Like, me, I've been going back and forth. The original team did have Ice Punch. I changed it to Bullet Punch because I felt like the Xerneas matchup was just really bad. So, not exactly sure which one's the best set. I've been messing around with both. I think we're going to keep Ice Punch for now just to see how it is. Because I haven't used Bullet Punch and I haven't used Ice Punch. Let me just say. <laughs> uh, we got... Standard support Feeny. We got standard support Ensign. Uh, with Assault Vest Yveltal, we can run now because we don't need Sogaleo. Because we have a Mega Metagross that can outspeed and threaten Xerneas. Better off just to run the Yveltal here. And my friend suggested me to run Nihiligo. And Nihiligo is interesting to me. So some of the things that Zygarde doesn't like is Haze on Tapu Fini, so Tapu Fini is a big threat, and Xerneas obviously is still a big threat to Zygarde teams, especially since both our restrictions are weak to it, and we don't really have much offensive presence against it, and we want a special attack Z move because of the fact that we have no special attack offense otherwise, all of it is usually just chip or physical attack, which is just negate by intimidate, so having a special Z move like Volcarona in the previous series and Moon series is pretty important, so Gonna be trying out Poisonium Z, Night League with Substitute. Let's try it out. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I played a few games with this team. Not sure how I like it. I mean, I kind of like these five. I don't really like the Zygarde, but I haven't really brought it too much. Zim Manaphy. Oh no, I saw this in NPA. I know I actually ran like Gravity, uh, Mega Me 2 I actually have like a team very similar to that actually. Pheromos is really annoying too. Oh God, offense sucks. I suck against offense. Uh, we do have a Yavalto though, which is pretty good against my opponent's team overall. And we have a Tapu Fini, which is nice. I think I want to lead Yavalto on Metagross. Zygarde's not bad against my opponent, but <laughs> the Porygon 2 plus the, the Faramosa kind of makes me question it. So, then I bring Yavalto on Metagross, I think, is the lead. Have Fini and Incineroar in the back. Because if you lead Lele, I could switch into my Fini. Right, we're going to see Faramosa plus Lele. Okay. Um, don't know what you're gonna go for. I seriously have no idea what you're gonna go for. Double up in the Yveltal. I'm guessing this is Z move on the Pheromosa. I don't know who you target. I mean, if you're leading this, you should be scared of Yveltal. But maybe it's Fighting plus Moonblast. Might be best play to go Feeny. And get rid of the Lele. Yeah, because it's the biggest threat to my uh, Yveltal, so we'll go Feeny here. As we're going to see Magic Room come out. All up, Helmet. Ah, it's special with Z-Move. Okay, that works. As we get the Iron Head off in the Lele, we get rid of it. Would have been nice to get rid of the Faramosa, but that's fine. We get quite a bit of chip there. Um, That's not too bad. We don't have a Mongo Berry, which is actually really... I'm going to be able to get an Icy Wind and a Stomping Tantrum off into the Faramosa as Faramosa protects, which is fine. Get a bit of damage to that Groudon. Icy Wind. That Groudon's slow. Really slow. And Precipice Blades. Faramosa gets to pick a double knockout here, but that's fine. Good Z move on Faramosa. Do I really care about it? I kind of want damage on the Groudon. Uh, not having the items kind of sucks, but we'll go for Nature's Madness in the Groudon. We'll go for Stomping Tantrum again. Bug Buzz on the Pheromos. Okay. Special Attack. Okay. Get a big thread into that Groudon. We're going to see the Ice Fire Punch, which is fine. 
Uh, we get to go Incin plus our Yveltal. We have Fake Out support and we have the Oblivion Wing. I come down to do you hit Focus Blast? I mean, I'm snarling here, right? And I go for Fake Out. I Fake Out Groudon too. But yeah, I'm just going to Fake Out Snarl. Um, yeah. That's fine. My opponent still can't threaten the Yveltal. I don't think Mewtwo can threaten the Yveltal well. So I'm going to Ice Beam and... Is that Flare Let's Yeah, just double up the Pheromosa. Let's see if you have enough pressure. Gravity, Ice Beam. Why'd you Gravity? You have Focus Blast? Not want to risk it? That's fine. Focus Blast probably would have finished off my Yveltal too, so I'm actually just really surprised. Um... Yeah, I'm actually very surprised. Okay, let's go back and review that game. So we see a Lele leading, for almost a Lele. I'm worried about Moonblast into like Fighting Z into my Yveltal, so I hard switch into Feeny. We see the Magic Room come out instead, which is an interesting move coming out here. Z move gonna come out into Feeny, which does a de decent amount, but we're able to get, knock out the Lele, which is huge for my Yveltal because we wouldn't like Moonblast. We gotta get chip damage on this Groudon because Groudon's a big threat. As we get Stomping Tantrum off, it's a slow Groudon, so we get an Icy Wind off as well. Does for a bit of extra chip. Precipice Blaze doesn't knock out either one of my Pokemon. Magic Room is in effect, so I can't activate Barry. Uh, just again, weaken the Groudon. Just weaken the Groudon because like I know Pheromosa can't knock me out with my Yveltal. Uh, we get free switch into instant plus Yveltal here. We click Snarl in case the Mewtwo tries to hard switch, so the Groudon tries to be preserved here. So, yeah, just fake out Snarl covered almost every play here. And we're going to see the Mewtwo go in for the Gravity here. An Ice Beam, which doesn't KO, and we're able to just knock out the Pheromosa. I think just doubling up the Pheromosa won us the game, because I'm pretty sure Flare Blitz... Even at the Mewtwo's Focus Blast, I'm not sure if it would have gotten my Incineroar at this range. And what I would have done here is click Snarl, and as long as I hit Snarl, should put this in, uh, Mewtwo in range of Flare Blitz. So, actually, would it? It's close. Actually, it might have been really close. If it doubled up the Eval Top, but you have to hit Focus Blast first. You just have to hit two Focus Blast. You have to hit three, technically, because if you went for Raw Focus Blast with Mewtwo, you have to hit the Eval Top. Then you have to hit three on Ensign. Yeah, because you have Protect, you have Side Strike, and I'd assume Focus Blast as the last move. So nice, we are gonna be able to win the first game of today's episode. Ooh, Mega Me 2 offense, that's scary. That's scary for a lot of teams. Z Focus Blast is super scary too, because it just, if it, I'm not sure if like Groudon can survive, but man, that's actually really scary. I've seen a lot of this team. Standards are none. Uh, Among Us is just so annoying for this team. I really do like Metagross. Would you lead Groudon here is my question. A lot of them like to lead Xerneas against me because I do have the Zygarde plus the Yveltal. I think I'm going to go... Ensign Nihiligo here. I have Metagross in the back. I need another answer to Zern. Gonna have the belt on the back as a check. Instant Top of Fini. Okay. Nihilego is a really good lead here. Extremely good lead. I think I'm just gonna fake out the Fini and sub. Don't see what really hurts me from this. Uh, it has to be Z move on the Instant. That's something we do have to confirm. So we gotta watch out. Uh, that Z move could be a big threat to Nihiligo. Uh, but we're just gonna sub here because either Yeah, because you're not gonna fake out. Did you Z immediately? No, you U-turn, which is fine. Ground I'm gonna come out. Can't let you get gravity up. Don't know who's your back. I'm get it has to be Xerneas. I don't have a switch into this other than Instant, and if it's the Instant doesn't like dealing with my Yvelta, I'm in a good spot. I'm gonna go Yveltal. If you Soy Sands here, I get a foul playoff, which is amazing for me. And I get to keep myself on Nihiligo, which is crucial. 
So we'll go for the Z move. I don't want gravity set up because gravity sweeps my team. It's the thing about Zygarde is I don't tend to bring it just because like most of the teams with Grout, like there are a few matches I would bring Zygarde. Uh, Lunala, I would probably bring Zygarde, like, Lunala Groudon, for instance, but, like, against Zernon, I'm not bringing it, because, like, I feel like I need the Pokemon that I have in order to counteract the rest of my opponent's team, effectively. Uh, we do get Rafini, we get a special attack boost, which is really nice against that Groudon, and just Precipice Blades, which is fine. It's Salamence coming out, though. Okay. Just gonna foul play sub. Uh, instant double out? Uh, maybe you're worried about physical attack stat of Yveltal? Foul play does a lot to Groudon. Jeez. I let you avoid, which is super nice. I mean, I would have just clicked sub foul play again. But now we're in a super good spot because now we just get to double up the, uh, in, uh, the Groudon slot with Power Gem. Does that should knock out Groudon? Yeah. Perfect. I let should just win at this point. Salamence gonna come out. Can't really touch my Nihiligo. We'll just power gem here, going to instant. Yeah, <laughs> Nihiligo kind of doing work. <laughs> my opponent did not bring anything for the Zygarde though, huh? Unless you were Haze Feeny and you were confident. Salamence protects, I power gem because I cover every play because if he double has to break my sub, I just fake out sub again. And I'm not in hyper voice range or anything. So there was no reason for me not to make that play. So yeah, in this game, I guess my opponent did not bring what I expected in the Amoongus and the Xerneas, which were the two Pokemon I was probably scared of the most. Leading Feeny was like absolutely great for me because I just fake out and sub here, and as long as you don't like Darkest Lariat or Z-Move immediately, which is kind of strange into an Illegal, because like I have prime targets right here for my damage output. You go for the U-turn, which makes a lot of sense. Ground comes out, and I cannot let you get gravity up. I will fight to the death uh, preventing this gravity setup because gravity... Plus a boost to Groudon if you Sword Stance here. Really bad for my team overall. So, yeah, we'll definitely take that as Precipice Blade's going to come out once again. And that's completely fine. Salamence comes out, and I'm like, okay, I can sub here. You have to double in your Veltal to knock it out potentially. Rather just get the chip damage and get a sub up if I can. Uh, because there's no drawback to this play. Like, I don't lose anything. Like, if Groudon protects and Salamence went for Tailwind, for instance. And here, since the Precipice Blade's miss, even if it didn't miss, I guess this was pretty good. Uh, power gem foul play was just a safe play like I guess if the I guess if the blades connected with the sub on Nihiligo My opponent had a chance to go for darkest lariat into the uh, Nihiligo or like the Z move to knock it out But I probably could have just subbed again and foul played so no matter what I had like a safe coverage option for everything my opponent had and this tur last turn like I Had no reason not to make the instant and power gem play because of the fact that My opponent had no out for it. I just knock out the instant here and then I have fake up pressure against the Salamence. The Salamence can't threaten the Nihiligo behind the sub. But yeah. There really wasn't anything my opponent could do against that. As we'll find another game, I guess. But yeah, just very dominant game. I'm really surprised no Xerneas because two restricted that don't like Xerneas. And there was no Xerneas brought. <laughs> I guess maybe you thought Intimidate was good enough. But yeah, ooh. Another game Nihiligo kind of likes. Nihiligo Instant has actually been a really good lead. Nihiligo is actually really good. Hmm. And this is annoying though. Um, Metagross is so good here. Definitely bring Metagross. What's my last Pokemon? I don't have Haze on Feeny. You see, like Zygarde doesn't do well against anything with Xerneas and Double Intimidate. That's what I don't like about it. Uh, Feeny or it's not back as heal pulse and icy wind support are good. Yveltal is nice overall. I think I'm gonna bring Yveltal. His priority is kind of nice. Uh, Xerneas Insane. Okay. I'm a faster fake out. Okay. I can sub here. And fake out the Xerneas. Because, yeah, that's fine. Guess up. Uh, I'm guessing you're U-turning on Amoongus. Snarl, okay. Ooh, I wish I had extreme speed. I mean, as a downpour here. Flare Blitz will put you in Sucker Punch range. 
And that's kind of my goal here. So, no protect, no switch out on Amoongus, just a Z move. <laughs> Wait, that knocks out a minus one? What? That has no bulk. That's insane. That wasn't even a crit. <laughs> oh, Roar. Even then, Roar didn't help you. <laughs> okay, that was like a two turn game. I did not expect it. Acid Downpour to KO to Xerneas. There's no way. That has to be like a roll on 4 HP. There's no way. I mean, Nihiligo has a really good special attack. It's 127? Yeah, 127. So, I mean, it's not the worst, but it's not the best either. There's no way. I mean, but I think Acid Downpour is like 175 base power, if I remember right. Can't really t say for certain. There's not even anything to review from that game. I just el eliminated. I mean, I KO'd anything that was coming in other than Rayquaza. I KO'd the... Beanie. I got a lot of two landers, which was fine. And I KO the Amoongus if it comes in, unless it's like Alkaberry. So I had no reason not to make that play. And if I could get rid of that Xerneas, like, obviously I'm going to do it. <laughs> Z move, Nihiligo, putting in a ton of work. Jeez. All right, we got another Zerndon team. Oh, is, didn't we just face this? I think I'm going to lead Nihiligo instant again. Again, we're not bringing Zygarde. But Zygarde's just been so pathetic in the games that we could bring it in. Metagro, Sibeltal, Moongus, Groudon. Ooh. Not the lead I liked. Not the lead I like. Not the lead I like. Um. Maybe I should stop leading this. Because obviously it's not working out against these two. I'm so scared of that Amoongus. I'm going to fake out. I'm so scared of that Amoongus. I'm going to fake out. Okay, that's bulky Amoongus. Like, that's the standard bulk Amoongus. Uh, we took a lot with Vincent. Man, I think we lost on lead here. I guess I can lead Groudon and Amoongus into my team because it's really good against my team as a lead. Oh, wait, wait, hold up. Dude. We take those. I don't get why you double switched there when you had a free opportunity to just Rage Powder Precipice Blades again. Because I had nothing that could touch your team, but. The girls, where we go? We go Nihilee go here. Because we can sub up. Xerneas is not setting up. No way. Uh, Salon should be sacked here and the Moonga should come in. I just Z move to protect to put you in range of like Iron Head. I'd rather sub here. Yeah, you're gonna protect. Tailwind? Yeah, that's fine. Sub. So now Groudon can't press up his blade spam against my Nihiligo unless you click Moonblast, I guess. Uh, not a bad trade, I guess. Groudon's gonna come in. You gonna double up? You can double up one of my slots, I guess. I can give it to Xerneas, though. I'm in a really good shape with you, Beltal. I think I'm just gonna go for the Acid Downpour into a Blibbing Wing combination. Moonblast, is that Fire Punch? It's a special attack drop. Sami Tantrum, okay. I mean, I get rid of the Xerneas. And I just got free healing into the ground onslaught. I'll take that. For sure. Uh, I'm worried about Spore here. Is there a way I can get keep this special attack stat on Nihiligo? Probably not. Probably I just go for a Blibbing Wing. Chip away at the Amoongus here. If it's Tommy Tantrum, you don't have Protect actually. Precipice Blade, Stomping, Fire Punch. Oh yeah, I can't touch my, uh, can't touch my other Pokemon. I'm gonna go instant here. We get Intimidate, and I think that's really nice against my opponent. Wow, that did, that actually KO'd still. And we get to heal, which is good. 
four. Or just lose. I mean, it doesn't have Ice Punch. Fire Punch and Sun don't think it KOs at minus one. I want to say I'm pretty confident in that. Let's see. Nice. And yeah, if you're going to waste... Okay, you can only choose one target. And again, all I need is chip damage to put you in range of my power gem. So yeah, this works out in my favor. Uh, we wake up even, which we didn't even need. We got the Oblivion Wing off. I mean, Nightly go one by just clicking power gem. Yeah, minus one fire punch in KO Metagross. Got burned, but doesn't even matter at that point. I just feel like my opponent messed up. <laughs> I just don't see a reason why you want to double switch hard into your Xerneas right there. Like, this was the perfect lead position for you. Because there was... <laughs> okay, I guess I got a Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz in the Amoongus would have been really nice. Because if we brought the Sash, we would have been ama in an amazing spot right here. I I'm pretty sure you were going to spore it out regardless. But still. Uh, Flare Blitz would have probably been amazing there. We're able to... I just don't get I just don't get the switch here. You just get so much offense against my team by clicking like Stomping Tantrum Power. Like what do I have as a switch in? You just rage powder here. I can't threaten you. Oblivion Wings two hit KOing that Amoongus. You could just switch out afterward, but I just don't get the immediate switch in there. You just had a free attack. Like I had to sack a mon no matter what. Get a crit into Salamence. I mean that didn't really matter. Not really. Because I sub here. I get the Protect turn right. I guess like one way I could have played this turn better, I guess, was actually by going for a what Snarl knocked out. Snarl might have knocked out. Mm -hmm. I actually kind of wish I didn't crit the uh, Salamence because I could have snarled here. Maybe put this out or maybe went for if Oblivion Wing didn't crit. Maybe I was able to get another Oblivion Wing off when I knocked out Salamence and I could have sucker punched. Z move into Xerneas, which would have actually been pretty good, but yeah, there were two places my opponent was going for protect and either Tailwind or an attack here. Like, I just don't think you're Xerneas here against Nile Ego. You should know about how big of a threat it can be. So, yeah, we are going to be able to get an Oblivion Wing off into Mint. Like, I just don't want to let the Amoongus in for free, and like Xerneas Geo's hard here because that could have been really difficult for me. A sub has been putting work. Primal Ground, I'm going to come out. Uh, luckily, Moonblast in a, didn't go in a stomping tantrum in the Nihiligo, but I wasn't sure. Because the Protect was kind of obvious, and maybe like a switch to Instant, for instance. But I didn't want to make that play regardless. I'm actually just really surprised he just went for one or the other. I guess he didn't want to risk a Protect no matter what. Because he didn't know I was a Salt Vest, uh, you bell tall at that point. Although you should probably assume it if I had a Blooming Wing and I just didn't do much to your Moongus. But still... Uh, we got a little bit lucky here with our attacks. I don't know how much Moonblast does to Nihiligo though. I don't know if it breaks us up. Because it doesn't have much HP, but Nihiligo's special defense is huge. Maybe the Xerneas didn't have enough special attack investment, so maybe you just wanted damage in the Veltal. Maybe that's why. Surprised there was no Geo there, but that worked out beautifully for me. I was able to get rid of Xerneas and just chip away to Groudon. And at that point, this game was pretty much looking over. I go instant here hoping I can live the Stomping Tantrum because then I'd be able to just get another fake out off and stall out the sleep turns, but <laughs> Primal Ground on too strong. Spore comes out in uh, Yveltal, which is fine. And then I do get my Metagross in, but it doesn't really matter at this point. As we are able to knock out the Moongus, which is uh, really positive here. But yeah. And then the game was over as long as I got chip damage into the Groudon no matter what, because it can only knock out one Pokemon at a time with crits even. So yeah, like, I could have even substalled with Nihiligo at that point. Like, even if you crit the Metagross there, um, and I didn't get and I didn't get the wake up of Yveltal, I, all I do is keep clicking sub, and I either you either have to keep targeting on sub, and Yveltal eventually wakes up and gets the attacks off in the Groudon, or you knock out my Yveltal and I get two hits with Nihiligo, which would have been able to finish off the game. But my opponent was super high on the ladder too. Jeez, nice, 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 nice. Alright. One more, I think. One more. Hopefully we get to bring Zygarde. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Dude, Zygarde has done no work at all. Nihiligo's putting in so much work, though. Like, look at Nihiligo. Nihiligo's been putting in so much work, and it can definitely do work in this game. I just gotta get an Icy Wind off into that 
Uh, Lele. I think I'll lead Nihiligo plus Feeny. Yep. I have Metagross to switch in. I'll be Incense. I could bring Incense or I could bring the Yveltal. Both are fine. I'll get an Incense. Yeah, I'll do Incense. I think Incense a fine play because Intimidate is pretty good against the Mega Rayquaza. We have not brought Zygarde, I think. But the, not, we showcased Nihiligo. Nihiligo is just a boss. But um, yeah, we haven't showcased anything at all. So it's Scarf Top of Lele, looks like, unless they speed tie. Uh, I just get to go Metagross here. I get to click Icy Wind. Much my opponent can do. I don't think a read even helps. Psyshock, will try and set knock me out? Oh, it does. Uh, that's actually kind of problematic. Life Orb. Oh, are you overheat? If you're overheat, that's bad. Ooh, that's bad. Hmm. Gonna predict instant protect. Because if you're not overheat, you're probably just gonna go for a protect here. And instant, yeah. Perfect. Uh, show me protect. Nice, 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 nice. And we didn't mega evolve because we want that. Oh, wait. No! God dang it. We wanted. We, I wanted to stay in regular form because I knew Stomping Tantrum in the U turn when I proc the berry. Because now I don't know if I knock him out. Shoot. And. Worst timing. Uh, we'll go for sub here. And we'll go for a uh, Stomping Tantrum. As. Oh, you did have overheat. Ah, uh, I should have assumed that. Dang it, man. Make out sub. I just don't think there's an out. Zernus can come out. Yeah. Are you Z move on Intent? I wouldn't be surprised. No, oh, U turn. Okay. That puts us sort of in the game. Mega Ray coming back, coming back out. Yeah, if it was psychic on the psychic on the Lele, maybe we had a shot, but Psyshock will probably just knock out everyone. Um You have no reason to protect Xerneas, you should just go for Geo. Man, knockoff would be good here. Um Yeah, there's not much I can do. There's no reason to protect Xerneas. Like, you should... Dragon Scent KO'd. What? Oh yeah, it's Life Orb. <laughs> but yeah, there's... No shot? You should go Instant first to break my sub. Oh, you go Lele. I mean, it's really hard to screw up at this point. It's really hard to screw up at this point. Actually, no matter what, like you just click attacks, I don't have an out. You should switch out Lele. Oh wow. <laughs> uh Nile was so fragile I, fragile in its physical defense department. Okay. I thought I had the decent matchup here, but knew I was heavily mistaken. Maybe the Nihiligo was a mistake. Uh, I found Nile was a good lead. I guess it just depended on what Rekraza did. It had because if it was the life orb, the double and the Feeny makes a lot of sense here because I don't really have much. Uh, I should have made one instant actually for Nile I got too greedy with the Psyshock read. Yeah. I think if I went instant and got the Icy Wind off, like even though I didn't get Metagross directly in because what I wanted to do was have Icy Wind support so I could just immediately threaten my opponent's team. I think it was just a bit too greedy. Instant was probably the better play here because it covered this Psyshock Dragon's Ascent combination, which was the only thing that could probably knock out Fiend, which it did because it was Life Orb. And also like with Life Orb, probably should have expected Overheat, but I don't think there's a play I could really do here. I got the instant read right, but yeah, I mean, I guess it really didn't matter in the end. I crit, which is actually kind of bad here. 
because I'm pretty sure now my I don't KO the instant bad but I guess it didn't matter I would have had to scout for this overheat and maybe I should scout for this overheat I was just really worried about potentially a u-turn hard in a lele which could have been a thing but yeah I think maybe just scouting for the overheat was better going instant here and subbing maybe protect was a better play all I know is this play was the worst one I made. Well, the first two were like me going hard Metagross instead of going hard Instant, covering for this, the Dragon Descent Psy Shot combination, and then sacking my Metagross too early. Because Metagross was still really important to win the game. Like, I could have still won the game with Metagross. Like, if I got rid of Rayquaza, like, this game's definitely possible. And the Z move into the Rayquaza slot was very free here, I think. Especially since I would have got intimidated off into Incineroar. So if any play I could have made better, those two were the mistake plays there. As uh, at this point, like the game's pretty much over. I lost all my Pokemon. I lost pretty much all momentum. I had to hope like I get sub up and like maybe like my opponent uh, screw something over at this point. But like all my opponent has to do is click attacks. Like <laughs> there's not really much I can do here. Like uh, Incineroar goes down. Um, I get rid of Xerneas. Great for me, but like... Maybe if I had speed boost, <laughs> speed boost not illegal, it would help. Because speed boost not illegal, actually, if I had speed boost not illegal, that might have been allowed me to win the game. Unless there was a 50 50 read involved. But yeah, you just get to click attacks here no matter what. And there was nothing I could really do at this point. So yeah, good game to my opponent. Like, no, what I could have done better. There were the two plays the Ensign, instead of going hard Metagross, and Skying for the Overheat, since I saw his Life Orb. And if you're running Life Orb, um, X-Ray, you're going to have Overheat. Uh, just because it deals with the annoying Steel types like Fair Foreign, Metagross, etc. So, those are the two things to take away from this game. But I hope that everyone enjoyed today's episode of the uh, Ultra Test. We did not bring Zygarde at all. Let me just say, when I was playing this team earlier, I, ne I nearly never brought Zygarde. <laughs> I nearly never bring Zygarde. I feel like it's a Pokemon you just don't really bring because it just struggles against so many matchups. Uh, kind of wish we were able to use Zygarde, but I mean, we use Nihiligo a bunch. Nihiligo is king, but yeah, uh, don't use Zygarde. Don't use Zygarde. Uh, maybe if I can find the perfect pairing, because Nihiligo was actually super solid. Nihiligo was super solid on this team. Zygarde is still questionable though. Because we just never brought in matchups that I feel like were pretty bad for me because Hayes Feeney's potentially on my opponent's teams. We had Xerneas's we had to deal with, and I don't, I wasn't reliably getting rid of Xerneas because, like, there was a Moongus, there was fake out pressure from my opponent. So, yeah, like, I just don't think I could have brought Zygon in any of the games I really played. Maybe I could have brought it against the X Ray team, but, like, there was a Lele Xerneas. <laughs> I don't think I'm bringing that. Um,. But yeah, let me know what you thought about this team down below. Let me know your opinions about Zygarde. And the team will be in the pace fan description down below. If you do want to try it out, let me know how you feel about this team. And uh, what you enjoyed from it. If you did use it. And what you think could improve from this game. Uh, well, improve from this team. But yeah, you can also check my social medias out down below in the description. So it's my Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram accounts. You can check out my Patreon page if you want to go that extra mile to support my content. But you can always support my content by leaving a like on the video, sharing with your friends, and leaving a comment down below. But otherwise, thank you all for tuning in. Have a great day, people. Until we battle again, I'll catch you all later.